Uh, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to take a wafer map that comes in the uh, TI format and convert it into an AutoCAD drawing so you can see where the various devices are placed. We'll start by selecting the file that they provided. The first thing the program does is to scan it and tell us how many die of each bin there are and what symbol we want to appear in our AutoCAD file. And I'll accept the existing symbols from the bin numbers. Then it tells us how big the chip is and how many rows and columns it found. You may need to enter where you think the flat is. If you need to, you can rotate the data and you can also offset it. We won't put those values in right now. Here's our file name. Here's where the file will go. And we can have our output file in any units we like. I'm going to use millimeters. And I'm asking for a DXF format. We can also have the program draw a wafer diameter and a margin offset from the diameter. So once I'm happy with all my settings, I just click Convert. And of course it happens almost instantaneously. And now I'm going to open this up in AutoCAD. So I'll go open and there's the DXF file I just created. And now let's zoom extents. And you can see the data. Now these black eyes are the uh, non-existent die that are needed to fill in the array and I'll turn them off. Empty cells are called. And now we can see the different types of bins. The blue are probably the good die. The yellow are what are known as edge die. Uh, I'm not sure what these uh, cyan are. Maybe there's some bad dye, and then there's some pink, which could be defective dye, and I'm not sure what this big hole is, but it's uh, all that you expect it to be. In fact, let me turn off the edge dye. So now you can see the wafer. Notice that the wafer is not in the center, or the array, I should say, is not in the center of the wafer. That's because there's no information about how this array is offset, and normally you just can't take the extents of the array and place it at the center of the wafer. If you measure carefully, you'll see that there's an offset approximately uh, 250 mils this way and maybe 25 or 50 on that side. So we're going to rerun this with some offset values to see if we can get a better centered wafer. All right, I'm going to rerun the conversion with a 25 mil, because we're on this side, offset in X and a 250 mil shift in Y. We'll see what that produces. So we'll click Convert. Now we've rated the file again. Let's reload it. And let's turn off the uh, empty cells and also the edge cells. And zoom. So now it looks like it's actually properly located on the wafer. You can see that all of the good die are clearly within the margin. These are marginal die. We don't care if they actually touch. Here on the top we're OK. Here on the right we're OK. And on the bottom, of course, you have the flat so you can see how quickly we can take a wafer map and produce a layout that can then be used for dicing and sawing and picking the dies that we want. Thank you.